Hey YouTube watchers and listeners and Raspberry Pi hackers. I wanted to uh, make another little video here and share some of my progress on my home monitoring system. This project started out with I wanted to monitor the uh, temperatures in all the rooms in my house and uh, and also to show when the, my furnace turns on and off or my AC turns on and off. So I've wired uh, eight Dallas 18B20 one wire temperature sensors throughout my house They're on a little one wire network and in addition to the temperature sensors I have a shaft encoder on my sump down on, on the crawl space to monitor my uh, my sump pump so it encodes the level of the sump pump up and down as it fills and drains etc so with all of this information I'm gathering I decided to uh, make more of a centralized application and I chose to use Glade which is the graphical user interface tool to generate or to you know lay out your GUI and then I used uh, C code underneath in the uh, the GTK toolkit and application uh, interfaces to make the calls to fill the widgets and stuff so what you're seeing over there right now is the main screen I have a little toolbar up at the top here I can open and save uh, configurations and the other thing too that I finally I wanted to talk about one of the additions that I've that I've done here is I've gotten I got this really cool uh, evaluation module from Texas Instruments. It's got a uh, a really sensitive humidity sensor on it. So this this is in my studio here with the guitars hanging on the walls and such. In the, with the upcoming heating season, my forced air in here furnace in my house tends to dry out this room. So I try to keep this room at about 45 to 48 percent relative humidity. So up there in the right hand corner here is um, the relative humidity sensor reading coming from the new sensor and then right there I've got a set point I can that's that's the set point that's the actual value so and incidentally this is the Raspberry Pi touch screen so I can use one of the little stylus here to say I want I want more humidity in the room so I set the set point to 53% relative humidity and then you hear the humidifier which you can't see it's on the floor over there turn on and I think I got 1.5 degree hysteresis so the thing doesn't chatter on and off so I just turned it off to talk here got a little throbber going across the bottom as it's pulling the Dallas sensors and at the bottom here is the uh, the graph showing all eight sensors now I also have here's the configuration screen I'm sorry that's the large graph if you want to show I got an icon to show the I'll show a large graph of the temperatures and here's where you assign the location in the house you give it a name studio plenum basement main floor etc and then there's combo boxes that that are filled with the 64-bit IDs that are embedded in each of the Dallas sensors so you map an ID to a location that's what that panel does so then here it shows you the names and then whether you can show if the, if the graph gets too cluttered you can take some of these curves off and right now it only holds uh, six hours and then it deletes it well, then one of the next phases I've got coming up here that I want to work on, I want to implement a SQL database and hold all the values for, say, two weeks so I can scroll back and forth in time and show temperatures over two weeks before they get deleted. Now, I also have on the back of this Raspberry Pi, which is, this is that new case, by the way. It's, this desktop case is really nice and I have a little panel here and I have a relay board um, 
I have three relays on there. One of them, the top one right here, is used to turn the humidifier on and off. And the other two right now, I ordered a, a auto dialer. I was messing around with trying to make the program send an email and or an SMS text message to my phone. But I was having a lot of trouble with that, and I thought, well, what the hell? Why didn't I just, this? I bought an auto dialer which has a dual discrete input so I can use those other two relays to wire into the auto dialer so it'll and now it'll call my cell phone and announce you know some pump high level or whatever and let's see what else I got here this is the Tump summary page oh, and then here's this icon just brings up the graph of the relative relative humidity I haven't had it but it hasn't been running that long and then I got a little about box, etc. There. All right. So let's see. Where was the uh, the? Uh, all right. Well, that's that's that whole program, and um, that's running on uh, a Raspberry Pi two with the the official seven inch touch screen. This is a touch screen, by the way, so I can. I can like I can touch the screen, I can move windows around, etc. Which is pretty cool. And I use a little wireless keyboard. Okay, and the other neat thing that I have is this is serving up a web page here so I can view all this is this is uh, another Raspberry Pi I have running over here and it's running the uh, the crappy little Epiphany browser. And this is the web page that the Raspberry Pi serves up. It just shows me the graphs, the temperatures, etc. Very simple. There's no interactive right now. Eventually, I just what it looks like. I kind of optimized it to uh, make it look good on my phone. You know, so here would be. The, you can see how cool it's, it. It looks kind of cool to me. You know. All right, so that's that. You know, you know, that's the progress that's been made, and I'm, and I'm really excited about um, the Glade interface. Turned out really nice. It's a really easy tool to work with, and uh, to lay out the uh, the graphical user interface. And and uh, th down there, I, I had another video show explaining how I did my how I did the sump pump level. I have a uh, a. Uh, an encoder, a shaft encoder, and I have a counterweight system on two two pulleys. Eh, well, I'd say they're pulleys, but they're actually two filler spools, a fishing line, trilene fishing line. I glued them together, so one direction is pulling a counterweight, and the other I, I bought a, a toilet float from Menards. So then that, as the water rises, it displaces enough water to make it go up and down, and the counterweight, etc., pulls it up and down evenly and turns the shaft and encodes the level. So eventually I'm going to put alarms in here to where it where it uh, will give me a it'll call into my phone here when I've got uh, when I've got problems with the uh, sump pump. I have a backup on there as well but uh, and I'm dumping stuff to the terminal here as you can see. And, uh, Let's see. Here's the uh, here's the I showed you the big graph, and then you have if you want to just see. Oh, here this is cool. This right now we've had a lot of rain, so my sump is filling and filling and emptying. You can tell when the pump runs, and uh, as noted by, you know, it climbs slowly. So you can kind of see see with these this mark. This is 30 minutes here. So you can see it's raised, it's filled and drained twice in about 30 minutes. Well, anyway, that's my update. So it's uh, a fun project. I'm having a good time with it. Thanks for watching.